Hello, uh, I am Horacio Ochman, Clinical Associate Professor of Psychiatry and Human Behavior at the Brown Albert Medical School at Brown University in Rhode Island, United States. And my talk is going to be about psychotherapy. I'm going to talk on uh, two different um, sections. Uh, part one is going to be an overview of psychotherapy and part two it's going to be a um, synopsis on transcultural psychotherapy. So uh, the um, within a general overview psychotherapy means treatment of the mind. It has its origins in psychoanalysis as a talking cure developed by Sigmund Freud in the 1900s. The talking had has to be a treatment conducted by a trained professional within a framework and the ultimate goal is to improve the mental and emotional health of a patient. Psychotherapy understands the ways in which the patient is affected by thoughts and feelings that are unconscious, that means out of awareness. It's very important to uh, develop a therapeutic alliance between the therapist and uh, the patient in order for a psychotherapy to be successful. The common factors should be in place, such as trust between the patient and the therapist through, uh, through a therapeutic alliance, which is the, the phenomenon that is engendered when patients feel safe, heard, and understood in a non-judgmental atmosphere. Psychotherapy can develop healthier growing experiences such as a new way of thinking about oneself, regulating self-esteem, as well as relating to others with more flexibility, coping skills, and improved cognitive cognition. How do we create a safe place? Uh, the um, safe place within the psychotherapeutic process is created by empathy and by being non-judgmental attending to the person's physical comfort, assuring confidentiality, demonstrating understanding, setting frames and boundaries through openness and transparency, and being professional and thorough. Listening and reflecting are important pillars within psychotherapy process. Listening to affects, associations, fantasies, conflicts, and defenses. Listening and talking plenty of time uh, li li listening and taking plenty of time to listen is paramount before making a diagnosis and prescribing medication. Reflecting is about understanding the meaning of what is heard and decide how to focus our listening and determine the therapeutic strategy. Following the affect and attending to our feelings are pearls that serve us reflect. There has to be also supporting interventions. We support patients by supplying what patients lack and are unable to provide for themselves and by assisting patients to use their own functions. Supplying interventions include encouraging, inspiring, offering optimism and hope, praising, reminding patients of their capacities, naming emotions, putting experiences into words, nurturing, reassuring, empathizing, demonstrating interests, understanding and reducing guilt. Assisting interventions uh, are uh, um, interventions that are um, modeling, instructing, collaborating, joint goal setting, joint inquiry and exploring alternatives. Jointly reality testing, thinking through consequences and problem solvings as well as working on projects. It's very important to integrate psychotherapy with neuroscience, psychiatry, and development. Um, if we can integrate psychotherapy with, with these three important um, branches, um, it's, it's, uh, branches is really a way to conquer you know, a comprehensive approach um, biopsychosocially. So specifically, a two-personal relational psychotherapy can influence uh, through neuroplasticity the acquisition of a better model of adaptation to the relational world based on neurophysiologic foundations. 
Studies suggest that the relationship between early stress, adversity, and attachment is associated with deficits of functional connectivity between the amygdala and the prefrontal cortex. The anterior cingular cortex processes processes cognitive and emotional information, whereas the medial prefrontal cortex predicts the outcome associated with actions. Limbic networks observe social referencing, affecting attunement and reflecting functioning. It is essential to think that psychotherapy consistently impacts in brain structures and networks through neuroplasticity, whereas psychopharmacology works through neurochemical circuits. Integration is the best of both worlds for both treatment modalities. Working through towards the ending phases is something that has to be um, um, paid uh, attention uh, as is one of the most important things that one can do through the phases of psychotherapy towards a successful termination. That is working through. Um, uh, working through consists of three phases processes in which people gradually change some aspect of their mental health functioning. Phases progress from limited awareness of a problem or the cause of a problem to increasing awareness and practicing ways of functioning to lasting changes in thoughts, feelings, or behaviors. Ending or termination is the major work of ending uh, that includes consolidating goals, reviewing the treatment awareness of the reality of change, planning the future, and taking leave. Ending is the result of goal achievements, uh, as a result of improved symptoms, sense of self, relationship with others, adapting, re reflective capacity, work play, and feelings of independence are the most relevant goals. There has been in psychotherapy different schools uh, that are important to look into. Um, Nobody should be married with a specific school uh, of uh, thought, but it would be interesting to study different different uh, psychotherapy schools and then um, apply um, the school that is more appropriate to the clinical case of a patient. Um, and, and, and basically, uh, at the end, uh, one would be applying um, one's own school uh, already with uh, the different um, knowledge that one has from a different um, uh, schools of thought. So the schools of thought um, are the following ones. A psychodynamic psychotherapy, which is a psychodynamic frame of reference that postulates the dynamic elements in the unconscious affect, affect conscious thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Psychodynamics was founded by Sigmund Freud. Cognitive behavioral therapy, it is based on cognitive behavior theory in which behavioral events, associated anticipatory expectations, post-event attributions, ongoing cognitive information processing, and emotional states combine to influence behavior and behavioral change. CBT was developed by Beck and um, Al. Mentalizing. Mentalizing is a form of social cognition. It is the imagine imaginative mental activity that enables us to perceive and interpret human behavior in terms of intentional mental states such as needs, desires, feelings, beliefs, goals, purposes, and reasons. Mentalizes Mentalizing was developed by Peter Fonagy and collaborators. Dialecti dialectic uh, or dialectical behavioral therapy is a cognitive behavioral uh, treatment developed by Marsha Linehan. It emphasizes individual psychotherapy and group skills training classes to help people learn and use new skills and strategies to develop a life that they experience as worth living. DBT skills include skills for mindfulness, emotional regulation, distress tolerance, and interpersonal effectiveness. Relational psychotherapy encompasses um, meaning making progress in which people make sense of their subjective experience. Relational psychotherapy is based in effective attunement, emotional availability, social referencing, 
temperament, models of attachment, implicit relational knowing, now moments, mentalization, and corrective emotional experience. Relational theorists, theorists include Raycroft, Holmes, Stack Sullivan, Sullivan, and Greenberg Mitchell, among others. Parent-child interaction therapy uh, is a dyadic behavioral intervention for children ages 2 to 7 and their parents or caregivers that focuses on decreasing externalizing child behavioral problems such as defiance and aggression. And uh, that would actually increase the child's social skills and cooperation and improving the parent-child attachment relationship. It teaches parents traditional play therapy skills to use as social reinforcers of positive child behavior and traditional behavior management skills to decrease negative child behavior. Parents are taught and practice these skills with the child in a playroom while coached by a therapist. The coaching provides parents with immediate feedback on their use of the new parenting skills, which enables them to apply the skills correctly and master them rapidly. Then there is an important uh, concept on community psychoanalysis, where therapists apply knowledge on the unconscious, externalizations, projection, transferences, defenses to groups, uh, using the Tavistock model as, an, as a, um, as a um, frame. The exploration of community symptoms are also applied to individuals. Community psychoanalysis addresses problems on violence, abuse, traumatic loss, scapegoating of classes and groups, teenage pregnancies, homelessness, and variations in family structures. Community psychoanalysis takes into account the needs of patients who are difficult to engage, but who respond to someone who listens to them instead of preaching or interpreting. The therapist's comfort and effectiveness will change the outcome. Um, psychotherapy types per number of participants also need, need to be uh, looked at. We have individual psychotherapy, which is working primarily between the individual patient and the therapist. Family therapy, a type of psychotherapy designed to identify family patterns that contribute to a behavioral disorder or psychiatric disorder and help family members break those habits. It involves discussion, problem-solving sessions with the family. Some of the sessions may be as a group, in couples, or one-on-one. -on -one. In family therapy, the web of interpersonal relationships is examined and ideally communicated is, communication is strengthened within the family. Couples therapy is uh, marriage counseling, also called couples therapy, a type of psychotherapy where um, the counseling helps the couples of all types recognizing and resolve conflicts and improving their relationships. Through marriage counseling, thoughtfulness, decisions, decisions can be made about rebuilding and strengthening the relationship or, on, or, or going separate ways. Psychotherapy um, is also um, a very um, uh, important through uh, the group psychotherapy. Group, group therapy is a form of psychotherapy that involves one or more therapists working with several people at the same time. Group therapy is widely available at a variety of locations, including private therapeutic practices, hospitals, mental health clinics, and community centers. Group therapy is sometimes used alone, but it's also commonly integrated into a comprehensive treatment plan that also includes individual therapy and medication. Irvin Yalom outlines the key therapeutic principles that have been derived from self-reports from individuals who have been involved in group therapeutic processes. The principles are the installation of hope, where the group contains members at different stages of the treatment process. Seeing people who are coping or recovering gives hope to those at the beginning of the process. Universality, being part of a group of people who have the same experiences help people see that what they are going through is universal and that they are not alone. Imparting information, the group members can help each other by sharing information 
Also, group members can share their strengths and help others in the group uh, through altruism, and it can boost self-esteem and confidence. Corrective recapitulation of the primary family group. This is much like a therapy group family in some ways. Within the group, each member can explore how childhood experiences contributed to personality and behaviors. They can also learn to avoid behaviors that are destructive or unhelpful in real life. Development of socialization techniques. The group setting is a great place to practice new behaviors. The setting is safe and supportive, allowing group members to experiment without the fear of failure. Imitative behavior, individuals can model the behavior of other members of the group or observe and imitate the behavior of the therapist. Interpersonal learning, uh, by interacting with other people and receiving feedback from the group and the therapist, members of the group can gain a greater understanding of themselves. There has to be group cohesiveness because the group is united in a common goal members gain a sense of belonging and acceptance. Catharsis, sharing feelings and experiences with a group of people can help relieve pain, guilt, or stress. Existential factors, while working within a group, offers support and guidance. Group therapy helps members realize that they are responsible for their own lives, actions, and choices. And then, um, uh, towards uh, integrative or holistic therapist, um, that uh, entails that many therapists don't uh, tie themselves to any one approach. Instead, they blend elements from different approaches and tailor their treatment according to each client's needs. Generally, an integrative approach becomes solid when clinicians have been able to carefully study every major school of psychotherapy. Application of psychotherapy to major diagnostic categories and symptoms. Um, it's also important to bear in mind that according to different um, diagnoses, uh, we can, there are different psychotherapies that would be uh, more inclined to be successful with those diagnoses. For example, for depression, psychodynamics and cognitive behavioral therapy, for obsessive compulsive behavior or OCD, cognitive behavioral therapy and exposure and response prevention, social anxiety and phobias, CBT through desensitization and exposure therapy, for borderline personality and self-injurious behaviors, uh, dialectical behavioral therapy, is the therapy of choice for schizophrenia, psychoeducation, coping and social skills, and supportive psychotherapy, as well as bipolar illness, uh, the same factors, and adjustment disorders through psychodynamic psychotherapy. Psychotherapy for communities and rural areas um, are also uh, important to um, notice um, because there has to be a community social mind perspective where the therapist expertise fosters leadership and collaboration with community experts such as parents, teachers, the police, church. Focuses on prevention, adaptation and restoration. Groups are recipients of interventions. Transference is used to propel adaptive solutions without necessarily interpreting. Relative thrust toward community generation, generated solutions is the norm. And this is the end uh, of um, part one as a general overview of psychotherapy. Thank you very much.